see. Crags, 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 crystal forest, secret passage, or storm village, waterways, ruins of frozen land, great horror forest, more harsh shore, raging bay, village of fairness. Given the motifs we're seeing, I'm worried we will lose Geet either way. Yeah, I have a really strong feeling about that. Thought so. It said it was near Raging Bay, so I kind of figured it would be you know, this way. It's gonna be like a cave here or something, right? About. Uh. Aha! Oh, this is where we met Cupo when he crashed his submarine. Red, what is it? Did you find something? It's nothing. You found tracks, didn't you? Moses. Red, you're looking kind of scary. He's looked like that ever since we met him. Ah, uh, good point. That's strange. Normally, he'd be like... Jay, let's you and me take this outside or something. Let's get moving. Hey, guys, wait up! Oh, what's going on here? I don't know how I should act now. Oh, there's a jelly back here. I was trying to see if I was still glowing. Kind of dumb to check it in there. This one's a walk in the park. Hey, the puss spirit. Wait, Shirley's in my party? Ooh. She does learn some good spells, though. They're just kinda not as good in comparison to already having Will. Because she's just a fusion of Will and Norma. She has Norma's strong offensive spells and Will's strong defensive spells. So the problem being is that she uses way too much TP as a result, and her casting takes longer. They had a little fight in them. So I'm gonna switch that really quickly. There we go. Uh, water ores. Hmm, I guess that was all that was behind there. Must be stuff around here somewhere. I guess there's no music in this level. Oh, my thing wore off. At this point, I want to just use Holy Bobbles so I have a regular encounter rate. And because I'm just not getting enough experience points for it to be worth it right now. You could probably complete this game at level 70 anyways. So is it going this way, I think? Oh, double sharks. I see. Paralysis is gonna be the status ailment of the day. It doesn't really seem to be doing anything, though. Does paralysis actually do something? It's not doing anything. Come on, it's like I got like one shot left. Thank you.
Anything up here? Nope. Wait. I should take the other path. The other path used to have treasure on it, I think. Nope. I was thinking of something else entirely. I was thinking of the one closer to the entrance. But we're doing it backwards. What is it? I can't take all this doom and gloom anymore! It's hardly surprising given the situation. Chloe, Norma can't survive if she stays quiet for too long. Exactly! I- Hey! You've always got to be making noise, don't you? Spot's gonna be fine. He and Red are super close. I ain't worried a bit. Then why aren't you being silly and stupid like you usually are? You've been acting strangely ever since we got here. What, you been studying me or something, Jay? It doesn't take that much effort. You're no good at hiding your feelings. Huh, <laughs> whatever. You're upset because you suspect Geet, too. Now listen. That's enough, you two. If we continue our investigation, we'll eventually find the truth. Throwing around guesses won't bring us any closer to a conclusion. <sighs> now it's all gloomy again. You'll just have to deal with it for now. Let's do our best, Norma. Charge! Gee, girl, I don't know what I'd do without you. And jelly! Oh, is that an automatic? Yes, it is. Oh, shoot. There's a mage back there. If I can even get there. Now that I think about it, this game kind of does have Sword Art Online Syndrome. It started out strong, it was fun along the way, it ended, sort of, and then it just, it, like, it wrapped up, it had a good conclusion, and then it just sort of kept going. Hey, Mimi! Do you have any siblings, Mimi? I've got a brother named Cope? 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 And a sister named Cornet. Cornet's really cute, like me! I'm assuming that's a bread, but I've never heard of it before. Uh, where to start? Do they act as, well, strangely as you do? What's so strange about the way I act? Stupid people don't even realize how stupid they are. Like Moses here. Don't compare me to him. Hey! I've had about enough of this. I'm leaving before I tart with you. Before I get tart with you. No. Acquired the recipe for... Baumkuchin. Baum... What? <laughs> oh, 
Tom Kuchin, layers of thin cake like the rings of a sweet tree. Wait a minute. That's the German one. That's the German cake we already got. We already... We already got that. Because I remember having to look it up on stream to figure out what it was. Why? At least it wasn't as harsh on her this time. Yeah, but I already... What? I already got this. But now that I think about it, I never made it. Huh. Yeah, because I, I, I just learned about this pastry from this game. Because that was the first time I've ever heard of it. I had to look it up. And now I just got it again. You think the game is looping recipes? Maybe. Maybe. But the, I, I don't remember making it last time. Now that I think about it, I don't think it was in my recipe inventory, which means it didn't give it to me the first time. I think this is a mistake. This has to be a mistake. Recover from KO, though, which means it's... No, it's worse than the muffin, because the muffin recovers KO and with 60% HP, so... The other one's just a life bottle, which means muffin is still better. Ooh, which route to take? This must be a monster. In here somewhere. Hello? Hello? There we go. This one's a watermelon. It's a watermelon! Oh, and the lizard has a stick to hit it with. Oh my god, I actually like these ones. It'd be a lot more fun if they had a real purpose, though. They're kidding. Who wants a muffin? We never lose. It's like the exact opposite effect in this game. Uh, now for the right. There must be another monster. Red rosemary. Had to be something there. Oh. A Healy. A Healy Dealy. I also can't help but feel that there's a decent amount of this game that kind of expects you to have at least played one other Tales game. To get the base understanding of like the spells and their purpose. Like even with the summons, for example, you're not gonna know any of that unless you've played something like Fantasia or Symphonia. Otherwise, it's like, who the heck are you? Where? Up. Oh. 
scallop gel. Can I use a scallop gel? And somebody, I just healed, so it's not gonna do really much of anything. This had better be good. Miracle bottle. It wore off again. I don't think we've gone that far. Maybe it's because I took a small break. Yeah, it was. I think it was. No, never mind. I thought it was gonna be this way that had the alternate path with all the jellies, but nope. Here's the path I was thinking of. Oop, wrong side. Spirit symbol. And an all divide. Spirit symbol periodically restores this medium amount of TP. Oh. That's nice. What do you guys have? You have a force ring. You have an emerald ring, which can reduces consumption by a third. Oh no, that's physical damage by 20, so... It was you I gave the fairy ring to, which reduces TP consumption, and it's already made, like, a huge difference. Go, oh, what is this one? This one is a red lavender. Here we go. And there's a heal right here as well. Probably because they knew it would be hard to return to town when we first came here. There's nothing here. Are we sure this is the right place? My information network never fails. So if anyone made a mistake, it's us. Chloe's right. Uh, there was a growl. Did you hear something? It almost sounded like some kind of animal. It seems like your ears aren't playing tricks on you. There it is again! Where's it coming from? Over there! Here it comes! Well, it's a galf, but it's a different kind. Spot? Wait, no, it's not! How could you think that's gee? It's not even the right color. Oh my, it looks like it's in a really bad mood. This is getting exciting. We found a Galf. It's not Geek though. This will just take a second. Fenrir. Let's see, what kind of HP you got, Fenrir? You have God. <laughs> a lot. You also seem to have a resistance to lightning. So I'm gonna really quick. Because we do not need you guys. Because the AI in this game is a little dumb sometimes. We do not need you guys healing it. Okay, you, you. Fire sign, relic sign, ray. Oh, that's right. Um, that's another thing I forgot to mention is that they sort of borked the elements in this game compared to other Tales games. And water and light got combined into one element, which is the ocean element. Maybe in part because the ocean is technically a god in this game. Oh wow, my HP. Norma, if you please. No, no, no! Oh, that was close. Thank you. 
I needed that a little sooner. Also, we'll cast Anti-Shelter on it, which doesn't really seem to do as much. I'd rather have lowered attack. Personally. To my knowledge, we're almost done and I don't even fully know because this game doesn't really advertise its stats all that well. I'm pretty sure they don't stack. I'm pretty sure status elements overwrite one another in this game. Just like classic RPGs. So much AP, HP. Which, like I said, since it's really close to the end of the game, pretty much everything is going to be like this now. No matter what I do. Depending on how difficult things get, I might do one more level grinding session to level 80, maybe. I really hope I don't have to get the level 100 that's gonna take forever. But yeah, all of the bosses and enemies are gonna be damage sponges at this point. This is taking a while, but like clearly I'm not having a ton of difficulty with it. damage a lot of the time when it has over a hundred K HP. are also capable of guarding even when they're down, which technically, according to the game's own programming, really shouldn't be a thing, but I guess they didn't check that. Nope, get on the other side of it, please. Thank you! Sometimes I'm telling it to do it, do a special attack, and it counts it as wanting to go by the enemy instead of attack the enemy. Ooh! Suddenly, its attack is much stronger. Okay, who the heck cast first aid? Was that Will? Will, why did you cast first aid when we have cure? That one must have been the real perpetrator. This will clear Geet's name. You can relax, Moses. Then where's Eat? You don't look happy. What is it? It ain't over. What do you mean? Just what I said. There wasn't nothing more than a game. What do you mean? Is Geet testing you? 
I thought you stopped playing hide and seek when we were little. Come on out, Geet. Wait, what's on its paws? R Red, what's going on? It would seem that what we see before us is the truth. But, but that's... This time, there's no question that's Geet. How can you say that so calmly? Stop carrying on. Don't agitate him. He's acting strangely. Uh-oh. He's not alone. Leave it to me. You can trust me and Geet. Moses, it's too dangerous. We've made it through tough spots plenty of times already. We'll be fine. Geet, if this is some kind of prank, then it's gone a bit too far. Enough playing around here. Come on home. Why is he changing color? Moses, look out! Uh-oh. Moses! Did it knock his eye patch off? Senel! Ugh, he's so strong. Well, he didn't kill him, so there's that. Maybe he doesn't want to. He knew exactly when to retreat. He has perfect control over the others, too. Senel, are you okay? I'm fine. What about Moses? He's badly hurt. Is that his eye that fell out? Like a glass eye? That's Moses' eye patch. No, it's just the patch. It did not got, knock it off. Moses, move your head. Your hand. I can't heal the wound around your eye. What happened to your eye? Wh what are you acting all surprised about? Red! He's unconscious. We should return to where it is beacon and reorganize, especially considering Moses' condition. Yeah. I wonder if Red is okay. His wounds have healed, but... We can't rest here. We need to go back to town. So where is... There's the duct. Warp me! Mr. Reynard, where have you been? I went to investigate the matter of the monster. That monster has attacked someone again. We can't just stand by any longer. Bring that galp you call Geet here immediately. Senel, I'll take care of this. Get Moses to bed. Gotcha. You can use my house. Get Moses out of here before trouble starts. How's Moses? Not great, but at least he's not getting any worse. What do we do now? It would be prudent to assume that Geet has turned wild. Geet's really strong, just like Chaba said. If Moses had taken the full brunt of that attack, he might not have survived. 
If he'd reacted just a little more slowly, he would have been in big trouble. What's going to happen to Spot? If he really has turned wild, then... Red and Spot are going to fight to the death? You can't be serious. Hey, 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 don't go all silent now. You're supposed to say, no way, or never, or something. Throwing a fit about the situation isn't going to change it. Right now, we need to think about what we can do. Moses has... Moses had a large scar, whereas I was. Chaba, do you know anything about that scar? Probably from the first time they met Gee, That's... That scar is the sign of the bond between Moses and Geet. You ain't getting away this time, you little mutt. Hey, get back here. Was Geet still a puppy then? Like, the tail seems shorter, so I'm kind of assuming that Geet was still a puppy. He sure runs away fast enough. Even for me, this is enough to make my lungs burst. Ugh, I feel sick. I think I'm gonna puke. Hey, y'all. I was playing with him first. What did it do to me? Oh, a bear caused it then. Not uh, Geet himself, I think. I'll take care of these guys. Run while you still can. Yeah, go. Run as fast as you can. Ugh, I won't stop bleeding. I can't even tell if I'm feeling pain or heat or what. And that's because getting your eye damaged that badly is enough to throw you into shock. Damn, I can't tell if the distance if I can't see out of my left eye. What a pathetic way to die. Damn you. You idiot, run! If you're scared, don't force yourself. I'm fine. Just fine. And there he goes. Everything's going blurry. I can't think straight. It's because you're going into shock. This is the third day. He may not make it. Is it alright to leave that grand gal sitting out there like that? It's not alright, but it's not like we can just go and do something about it. Yes, it may be a child, but it's still a grand galf. But you know, that galf has been in front of the house the entire three days. It, is it really waiting for Moses to wake up? It's hard to believe, but I can't think of any other explanation. I guess that grand galf has accepted Moses. Gateway in front of the house the entire time until Moses woke up. Even when it rained, even when cold winds blew, he sat there, not moving an inch. So Moses' actions moved the heart of a grand galf. After sleeping for three days and three nights, Moses woke up. The howl of joy that rang out that morning still echoes in my ears today. After that, Moses and Geet were never apart. They played together, they ate together, they even slept at each other's side. For a beast tamer, the relationship between these two represents the ultimate ideal. That must be the reason why you respect Moses. Yes, Moses is an incredible human being. That's why... That's why the day Moses was exiled, I decided to go with him. Exiled? With the dangers of a grand gelf and the fact that it would turn wild, it's only natural they'd do such a thing. They had to protect themselves from that which might turn against them. Especially in light of the fact that a grand gallop had brought disaster to the village in the past. Moses' family in the village gave him a choice. 
either abandon Geet or leave the village. Knowing Moses, he didn't hesitate to give them his answer. That's right. Moses didn't hesitate for a moment. He knew. That's Moses for you. He really could stand to use his head a little more. Moses left the village behind and chose the path of living with Geet. And then he came to the legacy. Red sure led an eventful life. And yet he's still as carefree as ever. I guess that's impressive in its own way. I'd better get back to the camp soon. The guys are probably starting to worry about me. Please take care of Moses. I'll go check on Moses. I'll go with you. I'm assuming he's at the hospital? Moses is in Will's room on the second floor. He should be in the hospital. He should be in the hospital game. We have a new doctor and everything. You're awake. How could I sleep at a time like this? You should get some rest. You're under great emotional stress. No amount of crystal errors can help that. Yeah. You know, that Geet, he... He may be a grand gal, but he's spoiled. He's weak, and he's a yellow-bellied coward to boot. Moses? When I first met him, he didn't know how to hunt or fight or nothing. He was an embarrassment to every other Grand Galf out there. The King of Galfs. <laughs> right. Even so, he bared his fangs and ripped monsters apart with his claws in order to protect me. I watched him as everything faded away around me, and I thought to myself, That's the greatest damn Galf in the whole world. I made a vow that day. I swore upon Geet and who waited the whole time for me to wake up, and I swore upon my own life. I swore that no matter what happened, I would never betray him. That Geet and me would be together forever. But now, I ain't so sure, and I hate that. I've seen so many beast tamers, I can't stand to look them in the eyes. I've heard so much of their suffering and regrets, I can't stand to listen to them. Beast tamers and their beasts, the best of friends until one day, bam, they're mortal enemies. I've seen it too many times. Is that why you've lost your confidence? Turning wild is a faint stained with blood. As a beast tamer, I know this better than anyone. I've been lying to myself this whole time, telling myself we'd be okay. I just kept telling myself everything would be alright, just to keep my hands from shaking. But deep down, I knew this day would come. I knew I couldn't keep the balance of power. I can't be his playmate no more. You certainly know how to whine loudly, you pathetic dolt. I'm embarrassed just listening to you. What did you say? I knew you were stupid, but I didn't think you were this stupid. I ain't in a good mood right now. If you start talking crap, I will hurt you. Bad. Oh, please. I'd get bored fighting such a crybaby like you. Alright, let's go. Cut it out, you two. Are you planning on just giving up? Since when did you become such a pushover? The Moses I knew would hang on to his determination until the very end. Sentinel. Do you understand what you said a moment ago, Sandor? You just said that you don't trust Geet. In the Misty Mountains, you said you'd change your destiny. Were you just pretending then? It ain't that. You said those words because you believed in Geet, right? You idiot, Red. You won't accomplish anything just thinking about this on your own. This is a problem for both of you. Are you planning on coming up with an answer without facing Geet first? If you give up now, it's all over. I don't want the two of you to regret what happens. Yeah, maybe you're right. Alright, Moses. 
Let's work together and find Geet. That howl, was that? No question, that's Geet. It sounds like it's coming from close by. It's coming from the camp, my boys. Let's hurry. That's not a good sign. Camp is at the top of the town. Oops, door's over here. And already opened because oopsies. Because I assume they would put Moses in the hospital. Considering that would be the rational course of action to take to someone who's injured, but hey. Why do they always insist on doing all the healing themselves? I mean, it makes sense on the field. But in-game, when we're in town? I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, nope, I gotta go around some more still. I simply must talk to Madame Musette about these monsters becoming even more violent and aggressive. Okay, you guys don't really say anything related to it. I was just curious. I wonder if it matters what side we enter it from. Maybe not. Oh no. How terrible. Let's tend to the injured. Chabu, what happened? Moses, it was... It was Geet, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry, Moses. We... Surely, heal Chaba. We couldn't do anything. You don't gotta say nothing, Chaba. We tried to take care of it by ourselves, so you wouldn't have to suffer. You've done more than enough. Thanks, Chaba. We couldn't do it. I mean, it was Geet. We couldn't bring ourselves to fight him. Chaba. Even the ones who suspected Geet in the first place, none of them could fight him. It's okay. You did good. We all love Geet. We want him to be together with you. You mustn't talk. It'll aggravate your wounds. I'm sorry for putting you through all this, Chaba. These tracks... Red, Spot wouldn't do something like this, right? This is some kind of mistake, right? Do you think Chavo would lie? But... Besides, these tracks don't lie. I'd know Geet's tracks anywhere. Is it too late for us, Geet? What's up? Oh, just a man losing his partnership with his doggo. With a big sad. You got some guts picking a fight with me. Bring it on. Sorry, Geet. It was all my fault. I took your food. You'll get mine tomorrow. You big dummy. You'd wait here the whole time. Oh my god, she is big in comparison. He's about as big as my dog was. I used to have a Newfin lab and he was very, very big. He was a big boy. I ain't all that smart. You know that, don't you, Geet? I can't think of any other way. So forgive me, okay?
What is it, Moses? I'm gonna kill Keith. What the? What are you saying? What, wait, you're serious? Can you really do it? It's not a matter of can or can't. I will. Is that really acceptable to you, Sandor? If someone's gonna take him down, then it's gonna be me. But still, killing Geet? Are you sure that's how you want this to end? You're worried about me, Senel? Hell must have frozen over. That's enough. Stop trying to hide your feelings with jokes. There's a time and a place for saying stupid things, and this isn't it. Then what? You want me to say I can't kill Geet? You want me to get down on my knees and beg everybody not to kill him? I can't take it anymore. I thought about this as hard as I can. I can't forgive him. There's no way I can forgive Geet. Oh, sure. So the doggo gets the harsher sentence than the actual mercenary. Yeah, way to go, game. I can never forgive him for what he went and did. He hurt Senel, and he- look at what he did to Shaba and my boys. I can't keep on making excuses. If Geet's gonna turn against his own family, then I ain't gonna show him any mercy either. Geet's been your family since way back, hasn't he? You've always been together, right? Senel, that ain't how it works. There ain't no past or present with family. Sure there is. New or old, family is family. I got something to ask of you. I'm embarrassed to say this, but I can't take Eat on alone. Well, yeah, he's taken out an entire village before at least Grand Gallops have. Not Geep specifically, but other Grand Gallops have. Please, help me take him down. Moses. I'm swallowing my, my pride and asking you for this one thing. Please. There's no one else I can ask. Moses, look at me. Please. You don't have to beg like that when asking for help from family. I'll help. But I'm only doing this to save Geet. I understand. That's plenty. Well, it seems we've reached a conclusion, so I'm going to investigate Geet's whereabouts. Thanks, Jay. I'm counting on you. Wait, are you actually gonna hug Jay? Stop that. You're making me ill. What is it with you? This isn't the time, you two. I don't know. I think it's nice to see them back to normal. Since when are those two getting along ever normal? Oh, yes. I like it better this way, too. When I've learned something, I'll let you know. Until then, please get some rest. We've still got plenty of work ahead of us. You're doing a Borderlands 3 grind. Nice. Yeah, streams are always great when you're doing grinding in games. Senel? We found out where Geet is. Everyone's meeting at Will's house. Gotcha. I just now noticed that the floor tapestry is a fish. It took me... Three and a half character quests to notice that the floor tile is a fish. Floor rug. Whatever. And of course, since uh, we just came back from a dungeon, we need to get some more bottles of potion. Enemy repelling potion. So 
uh, here it is. Boop. And one magic lens. Probably don't even really need to buy many more. It's probably not even going to be 15 bosses left in the game, but hey. See where it's gonna send us next. There's not gonna be that many short dungeons left. Sorry to keep you waiting. Go ahead, Jay. Gita's staying in Moses's and the other bandits' former hideout. That's thematic. Just like old times, Geet knows what's up. Considering the danger involved, I haven't investigated inside the hideout. Just knowing the place is enough. Thanks, Jay. What did I tell you about that? You're really making me ill. Hey. Okay, okay, that's enough playing around. Alright then, let's get going. You'd better come back with Geet. If you don't, I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> I guess Geet ain't the only one we need to watch out for. And everybody back in the party. Come on, let's go. You'd better come back with Keith. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yep, it put Shirley in the party again. No, I want you to swap with Chloe. I want you to swap with Norma. And we good. I wonder if I should maybe have Moses in the party, just because it is his catharsis. Hmm. Like maybe there's some extra dialogue with him if we swap it around. At least this is going to be a short dungeon unless it throws puzzle booths at me. Okay, let's go to the bandit's lair. 